General Relativity Chapter 2, Section 1, The Differential Line Element in Cartesian and Polar Coordinates. If you look at the Cartesian system, you have a dx along the x-axis and a dy along the y, and a right angle between the two sides. Therefore, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, and the hypotenuse squared, the s squared, is equal to dx squared plus dy squared. In polar coordinates, things are mapped out in a different way. You have a radial coordinate here, r, and then dr is your differential extension in the radial direction. And then for the angle, the phi angle here, r d phi gives you this extension in the perpendicular direction. So using the same logic, the Pythagorean theorem, the arc length here, this little hypotenuse, if you square that, that would be equal to dr squared plus r squared d phi squared. It's instructive to um, look at this r plus dr times d phi, which is technically this upper one, but when we take limits, uh, we're going to throw away a double differential. You have a product of two differentials here, dr d phi, so you'll essentially get this bottom result. If you want to look at something once in your life, not a bad idea, take the average of the lower one and the upper one, square that, and add that to the square of dr, and then throw away all the higher order terms, and you'll find that to lowest order, you get this. Often in calculus, we take ratios of deltas, and like if you think of a dr, ds, times a d something else, then when you take the limit that d something else will kill the finite you know, derivative when it multiplies it. So this is deep stuff. It's nice to spend a few minutes thinking about it. We're going to move on shortly with a discussion of arc length and in this chapter understand the metric.